Hey guys, what's going on? It's the morning after my show, and unfortunately, I didn't place very well. But that's okay. Everything is a learning experience, and I learned a lot through this show prep. What I wanted to do was hit this quick intro. I do have a lot of footage from the hotel, and that's where I explained my peak week in full detail, as well as some things that I was doing pre-show to get ready for being on stage. So I want to take you guys through that, but afterwards we're going to come back here where I'm going to analyze what went right, what went wrong, and what I would do to correct those things and what I plan on doing going forward. So I'm going to take you guys to the hotel pre-show where I'm going to explain everything that I did this week. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, here I am. I'm at the hotel. I just checked in, but I haven't registered yet for the event. I wanted to come in here, kind of shoot a little bit, talk a little bit, and then I'll get right into that. Uh, this is it. I'm back, uh, not backstage, but I'm at least at the hotel. Um, welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew Fillion. If this is your first time here, I'm competing in a bodybuilding show tomorrow. I just spent the past 20 weeks prepping for it. So, uh, per perfect spot to hop right in. I kind of want to cover everything that I've done like up to now and then like what's going to happen for the rest of tonight and then like what I'm going to do tomorrow. So I have 19 other videos going over my diet. I just want to go over peak week and then I'm going to clean up one last time. Um, so I did shave already, but I'm going to shave again, go downstairs, do the drug test, then get my spray tan, then I'll come back up and show you guys, ooh, look at me, I'm orange. So I'm going to be really orange. I'll explain why that is in a second here. But um, after that, I'll probably take a little bit of time to run to a couple poses, but um, I really don't want to like exert myself because I want to hold on to my muscle glycogen. So I don't know, we'll see. Plus the lighting in this hotel room is really not that good. The best I got is this lamp right here. I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll do uh, posing in the bathroom. We'll see. Okay, so peak week. What did I do? How did it go? What would I do differently? I basically did nothing but bacon all week. So from the last video that I posted up until Thursday, I was just eating nothing but bacon. And not only that, but I was doing one meal a day bacon. So I would basically fast all the way till about 2 or 3 p.m., make one pound of bacon and then I'd go to the gym after that and basically do cardio all night. It worked out better than I actually thought it would, which is a really good thing. I could see myself doing this even outside of contest prep if I just wanted to lose like a couple pounds really fast. I actually found that when I was only having a pound of bacon per day, my energy was good. I had no hunger cravings. There was actually times when my energy was so high that like I had to go do cardio. So uh, like 5 p.m. one night, you know, I normally go later, but I was just like, all right, I'm in the zone. I'm just going to go now. I ended up doing two and a half hours straight of cardio, <laughs> nothing but bacon. I had an abnormal amount of energy while eating bacon, more so than I was expecting. No matter how this show goes, I want to see just how good a shape I can get in doing something more on the ketogenic style because I actually enjoyed it that much. We'll go over that in another video another day, but that was the gist of that. Um, Thursday, Thursday was the carb load. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, bacon. Thursday, carb, 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 carb. It was carb city. Now, as far as carbs go, there's two major things I want to avoid. I want to avoid fiber, like the plague and I guess that's really it you just want to avoid the fiber and in some cases you do kind of want to avoid the sweets in my opinion because the sweets are just going to make you feel terrible um, I carb load on french baguette <laughs> and cinnamon raisin bread so all in all it was 1200 grams of carbs um, I was so full last night <laughs> that I almost think I probably wouldn't do the baguette again because it was just so filling and I felt terrible going to bed. So maybe I would kind of retool, change that a little bit. I don't know if I would do the whole baguette again. The cinnamon raisin bread was fine. Um, I did have a slice of cake. Oddly enough, I actually hated the cake. I didn't even want it. 
when I was on the keto, you know, for so long, like three weeks of strict keto, the the sugar in the cake was like almost revolting to me. So I actually took uh, the cake, I threw it away. Um, it really couldn't be bothered, I have no interest in it. And I think it's a good thing, because once the show is over, it just means, okay, I'll just go back to doing keto. I don't have the desire for the sweets anymore, so it should be pretty easy to uh, adhere to this new dieting strategy. And I'll still be doing fasting, I'll still be doing, you know, low carb. I don't really like carbs in general, so still going to be eating a lot of berries, fruits, and things like that. But it's helpful to know that, like, I truly don't want this junk food, so happy about that. Um... What else did I have? Oh, yeah. When I was in the checkout at Costco getting the baguettes, I stopped at the food deli. I got churros and ice cream. I was taking the churro and I was dipping it in the ice cream and eating it. Like, it was kind of overkill. Not, it wasn't really in the plan. I didn't like anticipate doing that. It just sort of happened, but that's okay. Um, aside from that, I'm still knocking back my electrolyte waters. I've got them pretty much with me 24-7, including right now. Um, so a lot of bodybuilders will cut water Friday and Saturday before the show. I'm trying something different this year because I've done that in my previous four shows. And every single time I get on the stage and I feel dried up like a sponge, very dehydrated in the face, low energy, and I don't really feel like my muscles look full. So right now, as you can see, you know, the veins are popping. And the only thing that I've done different this year is that instead of cutting water, I've just maintained water. So I'm not going more. I'm not going less. I'm basically having two or three liters today, tomorrow morning. I'm not going to like force it, but I have my waters and I'll sip them as necessary. From this point forward, eating is done there's no more like dinner, no nothing. It's about 7 p.m. here. The next time I'll be eating like real food will be after the show. I do have rice cakes if I need them. There's, there's no requirement for me to have the rice cakes. They're just there. What I am going to have, this is an exception here. Um, the honey is for the rice cake. This is like later tonight around like 11 if I feel like I really need some carbs I'll have that but otherwise I would really really want to avoid anything that could extend my stomach at this time what I do have here is maple syrup so backstage I'm gonna be like a frat boy taking a shot of this about a half hour before I go on stage with that I'm also going to knock back a little bit of sea salt that I brought and that's going to help me get really, really vascular in a short time span backstage without adding a lot of like liquid mass to the body. Right here, I've got some raisins for potassium. Potassium will help with muscle contraction. Very important if you're trying to get a pump on stage, you need to be able to contract your muscles. So I will probably, in some sort of combination, have a couple raisins, the maple syrup, um, and the salt over here as like an emergency. Uh oh, I didn't carb load enough. I've got a massive bag of dextrose. Of course, I've got my electrolyte water. So in the morning, let's say I'm looking in the mirror and I'm fe feeling a little bit flat, right? So I could carb up a little bit more. I'm just going to dump some of this, not a lot, just enough. Maybe like two or, there's a tablespoon scooper in there. Maybe like two, three, four at the most tablespoons in here. And I'll sip on this while I'm backstage. That should give me a decent pump. Otherwise, uh, food, no food in the morning, no breakfast, no, uh, no, no lobby breakfast bar. I know it's like the most fun part of being in a hotel. Uh, the one time I just got to avoid it, not even look at it, not even be near it. Um, yeah. So dextrose powder, water, shot of syrup backstage, raisins for potassium, the sea salt I left over there. It's not in the shot. For the rest of tonight, going to do one last shave. Shave the face, shave a little bit of the legs and arms that I might have missed at home, go downstairs, piss test. Then I'm going to go and get the spray tan. After that, 
I'm probably going to try to get out of the hotel and away from anything that could be food. Probably going to go find a movie theater around here. Go watch a movie, come back, go to bed, wake up, check out of the hotel, go find something to do for an hour or two. Head to the venue, compete, and then afterwards, do whatever I want. So that's that plan. I am going to go and do the touch-ups real quick. The next time you guys see me, I will be orange. All right. All right, so I do want to at least kind of show the physique at least once without the spray tan and pretty decent lighting. I mean, I like this lighting. <laughs> I wish I had this at home. It would have made the uh, check-in videos a lot more fun. So I still need to learn how to do good lighting because look how good this lighting is. Oh, I could do this all day long. So I really wish I had this lighting back home because <laughs> look how crazy this is. All right, I'm about to go get this spray tan. I'll show you guys what's going on when I get back. All right? All right, guys. It's Saturday morning around 10.30. Got my spray tan going. Uh, all there's left to do at this time is to go backstage, pump up, get ready to compete, and uh, just kind of chill. So nothing to eat this morning. I've basically just had my electrolyte water. I'm intermittent fasting until about a half hour before I hit the stage. Then I got that dextrose powder I showed last night. Dump it in a cup and throw in some of the electrolyte water, stir it up. It's kind of like my own Gatorade, but it's way more potent. Like way, way, way super more potent. A lot more salt and a lot more sugar. Gonna get a really, really sick gnarly pump with that. Other than that, stomach is flat. I haven't, I skipped the breakfast, I walked in there, I was like, nope, I need to get out of here, <laughs> lickety split, so I booked it out of there, um, just been hanging in the hotel room, watching TV, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna run in there, compete, and hopefully walk away with some good news, so no matter what, I think I'm gonna do a follow-up show in a few weeks, because, you know, you get down to the stage lane, it's like, hey, why not combo up a couple shows? So that's kind of the plan. So no matter what, if I whether I win today or you know place high or place low, I hope not. But if that happens, no matter what, I do see some adjustments that I could make to improve, even you know come back even better for this next show. So no matter what, I'm gonna go over after this show what I think I could have done better and what I plan to do to be better for that next one. I always think when it comes to doing these bodybuilding shows, as long as you learned something, that's what's important, because then you can improve upon that in the future. And I'm excited, I'm gonna throw it all out there and hope for the best. So next time you guys see me, I'll either be a champion or a loser. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, no, let's go out there, have fun, and I'll check in with you guys later. All right, welcome back to the office. That was everything I did pre-show. Unfortunately, didn't place very high, but I'm going to now analyze what I think went really well, what I don't think went so good, but what I plan on doing to fix all of that going forward. So taking it from the top, things that went well. Doing the keto for a couple weeks before the show, I really enjoyed that. I actually felt very good while on a ketogenic diet, and doing that one week of eating bacon was actually incredible. So believe it or not, I was having better cardio sessions while doing strictly bacon than I had even in the prior weeks leading up to the show. That's incredible, especially when you consider I was only eating one pound of bacon per day. Now, a pound of bacon can be anywhere between 600 to 900 calories. It really depends on how much grease is in the bacon. So crispier bacon is going to have less fat on it, where more juicy bacon is going to have more fat on it. It's really hard to say what you're exactly getting. So a pound of bacon, you're looking at somewhere around 600 to 900 calories, which is very low. I would not suggest that you do that forever. But what I can say about it was that I was losing a ton of weight while still maintaining pretty high energy and just on one week of bacon. So that is the one thing I will definitely do again 
I very much enjoyed it. And I actually think it could be really, really powerful for people that are just trying to lose weight in general to just go on a strict bacon diet, not forever, but for a little bit. I really, really do think that there's a lot of value there. I want to cover the second thing I think went really well. This was the first show where I did not cut water and I did not cut salt. So a lot of bodybuilders cut water and salt the day before a show. That's how they uh, quote unquote get that dry look. But a lot of the times they have a very hard time getting a pump on stage. I didn't cut water, I didn't cut salt, and I can say I felt the pump really good when I was on stage. The pump was not an issue for me whatsoever. Um, And I can definitely attribute that to having the salt in the water. So that is something I'll definitely do going forward. So I'll definitely want to keep doing the keto. Definitely want to keep doing the water and the salt. Okay, so what went wrong? The short answer is that I simply wasn't lean enough. I did a 20 week prep. And if you go back and watch my old progress videos, you can even kind of see where there's a change. But my first 10 weeks of prep, I actually wasn't taking it that seriously. And you can see by around week 10, I was like, okay, I need to accelerate things. And that's when I started fasting. Now the fasting and the keto worked. That part can completely attest to. I simply just needed more time. 10 weeks of good weight loss wasn't quite enough to get me stage lean. What would I do going forward? Well, doing a 20 week prep, the level of intensity I was going at week 10, let's start that at week 20. And if I do that, I know I'm there because I know what I was doing these past few weeks was working. It sucks I didn't have enough time, but that's life. That's how things go. You just learn from these things and you get better. What's the next thing that I didn't think went very well? The carb load. I did a carb back load. So I did keto all week. I didn't eat any carbs of any sort until Thursday. Thursday had 1,200 grams of carbs. And Friday, I tried not to have any carbs at all. So the 1,200 grams of carbs on Thursday was very uncomfortable for me to eat. So I had baguette, I had uh, raisin bread, a little bit of cake, and I had rice cakes as well with like some jellies and jams. Came up to be 1,200 grams of carbs, and my GI discomfort was really bad. Um, I felt terrible all day Friday, uh, and I really think that worked against me. Uh, Not feeling so good at the hotel definitely wasn't the greatest. Um, I didn't really have that many carbs Friday, but I did have some rice cakes with, you know, jams and jellies and things like that. But by that point, I really just wasn't feeling good. And I think that kind of led into, you know, the whole thing. And then don't get me wrong, I still wasn't lean enough. But I do think that the carb load maybe wasn't as necessary as I thought. And I have a lot of footage from the show. I'll eventually have to do that in another video because it's It's higher quality uh, video footage that needs to be processed and things like that. Um, But when I was backstage, I kind of almost think the muscle fullness might actually be a little bit overrated. Because some of those guys were just super shredded. And the guys that were the most shredded placed the highest. And there were a couple guys there that were very muscular, very full, very big. But you couldn't see the striations as well. And that especially was true for me because I think I spilled over. Um, But I'm kind of thinking, you know, what if I just didn't carb load next time? And what I mean by that is instead of doing like 1,200 grams of carbs, what if I had just as many carbs as I needed to to get a pump and that was it? I really think there could be something there. So... What am I planning on doing for the next show? Well, that part depends. I have to look at the calendar. There are a couple shows in October and one show in November I'm looking at that I could potentially be ready for if I start dieting again right away. Um, If I do decide to do that, and I need to look it over, still thinking about it. If I do that, I would only have carbs 
probably on Friday, I'd still be doing the bacon all the way up to the show. And I'd probably have something very simple, like either maple syrup or honey with rice cakes, and that's it. So that would be somewhere around three to 400 grams of carbs max, just enough to get a pump, but not so much that, you know, I end up getting bloated and feeling gross and icky, because that's what I feel right now. <laughs> I feel gross and icky, all that sugar and all that, meh. So I think that could be the way to do it. And as long as I can get ripped enough, I still need to actually lose a little bit more fat. That's kind of the thing holding me, holding me back from signing up for another show. But if I get rid of that fat and then just dial it back on the carb load, I think I'm there. I really do. Because I, I did a lot of things right. I just didn't do them soon enough. So... Everything's a learning experience. I'm still getting better. I'm still learning. And, uh, you know, I look forward to what happens next. But until next time, this concludes my 20-week prep and the show. So, you know, this is the end of the series. Kind of crazy. But there's going to be a lot going from here. So if I still got you, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. All of it helps. If you got questions about how my show went, I'll answer anything. I'm an open book. So ask away. And with that, I'm going to leave this here, guys. This is the end of my 20-week prep series. So with that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Next topic, we'll see. All right, take it easy. Guys, I'm at a sushi buffet day after my bodybuilding show. I'm gonna be uh, having as much fun here as possible. Tomorrow's Monday, it's back to work, but for now, we're going to town on all you can eat. Soon. Let's get in there. Alright, this is insane. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> you got another plate? You got three plates for starting off. <laughs> Alright, time to celebrate.